Hello you, welcome to Geekism. This is a real quick sort of gorilla style video because I know a lot of you have been interested in the new PC build that I'm going to be doing for the channel, mostly for Planet Zoo that's coming later this month. Uh, parts have started to arrive. I'm actually going to have to kind of build it over a couple of months. Uh, if, I'm sure you do know, but if you don't know, we've recently moved to Canada and pretty much all of our savings have been wiped out getting here. So, um, so yeah, having to sort of do uh, little buys when stuff's on sale and on offer over the next couple of months. Uh, unfortunately, summer isn't a great time for YouTubers either. Uh, there's not so many games coming out and a lot of uh, ad revenue goes away and a lot of views go away because people are on vacation and stuff. So it's not the best time to be putting together a new PC build to be honest, but the one I've got at the moment is starting to uh, struggle a little bit as and uh, I can only imagine Planet, Planet Zoo is going to be a little bit more intensive with all those gorgeous animals and fur and all that sort of stuff. So it's about time to do a new build. I've been putting it off for too long now, um, but the first few parts have arrived. I'll go through the stuff that's turned up and then we'll go over to the PC, the current PC, and show you the rest of the build that's going to be coming hopefully over sort of August and September. So first things first then, Canada Computers, which is a store uh, over here in uh, in Canada, not surprisingly, had a bit of a, a storage sale the other day. So I bought all the new storage. Uh, it is a completely new build because basically Nicola's going to have my current build. So uh, all this sort of stuff that I would have probably pulled out of my one uh, has had to be replaced because Nicola still needs a working PC as well. So first of all, I've gone for the... Um, 970 Evo the Samsung. This is one of the M.2 drives. These are new to me. These weren't a thing really when I last built a computer, but these are super, super speedy. This is basically going to have the OS, the operating system, and then a few key programs, things like Premiere Pro, that kind of stuff. And then I've got a terabyte uh, regular SSD, uh, the 860 again. I've gone for the sort of value options where I can, but still sort of decent makes, so decent stuff. I've used Samsung SSDs for a long time now, so very happy with them. So this is going to be your games, basically. All the sort of game storage is going to go on here. It might try and squeeze Planet Zoo on this one, but for the most part, uh, the games are going to sit on here. And then I've got two blue uh, Western Digital 4 terabytes. This is basically all the, uh, the footage, basically. This is video footage. It takes up a huge space. I have to delete so much of it all the time. So I'm hoping that with this slight upgrade of what I've got, um, I've got, I've got four terabytes at the moment. So this is doubling my ter terabytes, terabyteage, terabyteage for the new one. So hopefully we can get this one. I might look at putting this on like a scratch disc as well for this so that rendering and um, stuff doesn't take as long. So there's the storage. Next couple of bits I actually got from Amazon Prime. Uh, Prime Day. So here's the first one. This is a, uh, a set of RAM. This is a Vengeance Pro from Corsair. I love Corsair stuff. I try and use them as much as I can. I've always been a huge fan of their their con their, their quality and um, and that sort of stuff. So big fan of these. This is a 32 gig, uh, 3,200 megahertz. Now, ideally, the next one of the 3,600 would have been slightly better, especially because we're going for an AMD CPU this time. But the price point was just, I mean, these were around $300. And I think for the 3600 they wanted like 600 It was almost double the price. I can't remember exactly, to be honest with you. Don't, no need to comment telling me, oh, you could have got it cheaper here. Like, I spent a lot of time researching this. So don't worry. I got it for the best price I could. But whatever it was, it was um, a lot more for the 3600 So we've gone for 3200 And I don't think that should be making mega, mega differences. I try and go for the best stuff I can because this thing is not only what I'm using to earn a living, it's got to future proof itself. You know, it's got to be, this has got to do me for a good few years, really. I'm not really in the market at the moment for rebuilding a PC every year. So I always try and go for the best uh, stuff on the market, but I will always look at price points. And to be honest, even though 3,600 would have been better, um, it wasn't really worth that extra price for that extra little bit of speed. Either way, this gives you the first idea of what the plate thing's gonna look like, because you'll see here I've gone for white RAM with RGB headers on it. We are gonna go for a mostly white build, and it's all gonna go in this that's just turned up, which is a Crystal Series 680X. Again, it's a Corsair case. This thing is an absolute beast. It is a machine, it is massive, but it's got loads of uh, options for cooling. Again, it's a gorgeous white build. Uh, I tell you, do you know what? I'm, I'm not going to start, I've got no motherboard or anything, so I'm not going to actually start putting stuff together, but I really want to see it out of the box. Oh, look at that, isn't she a beaut? What a great case. I'm not going to be taking all the gubbins out of it now, it's literally going to go back in the box in a minute. I just wanted to have a little look at it, and obviously we're going to leave the uh, the peel porn for later on when we do a full build video. But I'm such a fan of uh, of this thing, it's huge. It's got one of, it's one of these ones with like a separate compartment here. So basically this one here is where all the gubbins goes. 
So your power supply or your cabling and that means you can do a really nice, neat build around the front and it's got a couple of vertical uh, PCI slots there as well so we can have a nice vertical mounted GPU and it's gonna look gorgeous. As far as the GPU goes, that kind of depends on you folks really because Nicholas told me that uh, spending a grand on a CPU is ridiculous <laughs> and a GPU is ridiculous. Um, I just doesn't quite understand how they kind of work and how you need them to play games properly. But um, so what I'm doing is I'm funding that one through donations on live streams. So every Monday we're live streaming and basically now until, you know, when I need to buy it, however much we get in donations basically dictates which GPU I get, whether it be sort of like a 2060, 2070, 2080 or whatever, you know. So, uh, so yeah, check out live streams on Monday if it's something you feel like you can help with. And again, obviously, Patreon money as well is all going to fund this. So, um, you know, if you've ever considered looking at Patreon, you can check that out as well. Uh, obviously, it does help the channel. It goes straight into buying both equipments, but then also just paying bills and stuff as well. But look at that tempered glass. Oh, it's lovely. Right, let's jump over to the PC and I'll tell you the, uh, the other parts that I still need to get. Okay, so I'm not necessarily buying these from Amazon. I'll buy them from wherever they're cheapest when I'm able to get them, uh, be it Canada Computer or Newegg or Amazon. I kind of just get, I search a good round and try and find some deals and stuff. Uh, I'm just using Amazon here to show you because it's nice and easy to bring them up. So um, I'm going for an AMD build, first time ever. I've always been an Intel guy, but these new Ryzen CPUs have been really impressed me. They've got sort of great bang for the buck uh, sort of price points, really great price and really good performance as well. Uh, I would ideally have liked the Ryzen. 9 3900 or the 3900 uh, unfortunately it's just a little bit expensive really for what I'm currently able to do uh, so instead I'm going to go for the Ryzen 7 3700 not that much uh, performance lost really but a couple of hundred dollars difference so definitely worth it for me and uh, you know there's also a possibility the 3950x is going to be coming out later in the year as well so there's always an opportunity of maybe upgrading to that in the new year with uh, with the sort of uh, once Christmas has gone over because you know because uh, YouTube does really well over Christmas so we could look at upgrading it you know the chipset is still the same so we're going to be able to put it into uh, the same motherboard so that's going to be something to look at so much for it being all on Amazon I actually couldn't find this on Amazon at the minute but this is the uh, the motherboard I'm looking at uh, to uh, to put that CPU into it's the Asus Prime 570 the X570 Pro uh, motherboard wise to be honest with you I always find they're a bit of a much of a muchness the extra little bonuses you're getting on one or not on the other um, don't really affect me too much so I'll be honest with you, I've kind of chosen this one for looks. Uh, this is one of the only ones that's got nice white detailing. Uh, bring that picture up so you can have a look, a better look at it. Look at this. Oh, God, it's nice. Not a huge fan of the fact that we've gone back to little mini fans here on the, uh, on the 570, but, you know, needs must. Uh, but it's got exactly what it needs to do. You know, the four slots for the RAM there. It's got the little spot here where the... Uh, uh, here, actually, I think I'll place it, the the, uh, the M.2 thing, because there's like a heat sink here for it. And obviously, we'll get the, uh, the graphics card on there as well. But you get this real nice white detailing that, along with the white RAM and the white graphics card and the white AO... Uh, AIO cooler. It's oh, it's going to be sexy. It's going to sexy looking build. This. It's important to me that it looks good as well. It's sitting in the living room. You know, it's got to look the part. Uh, so there's the motherboard. And uh, for cooling that CPU down on the motherboard, we're going for a Corsair H100i. Uh, RGB Platinum Special Edition, which makes it white. Uh, I've got pretty much this in the current build, just the regular H100. Huge fan of it. It's done exactly what it says on the tin. Uh, keeps that CPU nice and cool. Uh, the bonus here is that it's, again, a Corsair, so all the fans are going to be uh, matching. You know, that, that red RGB is going to look the same as the red RGB on the case fan and vice versa. Uh, although we won't have much red, actually. I'm not, I'm not a massive fan of the whole rainbow vomit RGB. I'm going to use the RBG to go uh, in between orange and pink, which are the sort of geekism colours. Uh, I think that'll look really quite nice with the white detailing. Uh, other than that, like I say, graphics card, it really does just depend on how much money I'm able to pull together before I need to buy it, but I'd like to look at something like an RTX, uh, sorry, a, a, um, a GTX uh, 2080 or thereabouts, 2080 Super perhaps when they come out in a few weeks if the price is right on them. Uh, the main reason I want to stick with uh, Nvidia there rather than going for an AMD graphics cards to complement the CPU uh, is basically the Nvidia graphics cards have really awesome built-in systems for recording footage which is what I use to record the games for you lovely folks who watch the videos so it's just able to me to keep currently rocking a 970 in their GTX 970. This way I'll be able to sort of carry over and still 
use the uh, the awesome uh, GeForce Experience features that I'm used to, so there's not going to be much of a change once uh, we actually go and build this. So there you go. That's what uh, we're looking at getting. Still need to uh, raise a few funds for it over the next couple of months, like I say. Uh, if it is something you're interested in helping with, make sure you check out patreon.com slash geekism, or if you just want to throw a couple of quid my way, uh, Monday afternoons here in Canada, Monday evenings in uh, in the UK, we are live streaming, and any donations that come in during the live stream go straight to funding that graphics card. Uh, but even if, you know, obviously don't, I don't want to send like I'm begging here. If you've got no money or don't want to give me any money, that's totally cool as well. Just thought you'd be interested in seeing the uh, sort of stuff that's going towards the build, uh, and uh, hopefully we get it up and running, ready for Planet Zoo. Because man, that those that gorgeous lighting system and the and the fur and all that sort of stuff, it's uh, it's going to really start making this poor. A good PC, but four or five years old PC that I'm rocking right now. Uh, it's going to start making it cry, I think. So it definitely needs an upgrade. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed it. Give us a like and all that sort of stuff. And uh, I'll see you in the next one.